So this is your set. Yeah. Welcome to your mystical guide. Uh, Do you want your energy red? No. Really? You want to play a video game? I do. Do you have Halo? I do. And my set is right next door. I'm going to take us there. You ready? Okay. Hold on. What do you mean? Hold on. How, how did you do that? It's energy, baby. Pure energy. Depeche Mode! Hit it! Ah! Pure energy. Hey, everybody! Retro Replay! Nolan North here along with... Marisa Grieco. Grieco! Also known as PJ's lovely wife. The Mystical Guide! Isn't that the Mystical Guide? Yeah, but I was going to lead with that one. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Try it again. Just do it again. Like, we're totally natural. Okay. All right, ready? Music starting. And... Hey, everybody. PJ Harzma. Close. Mystical... No. First, let um, me do the mustache. <laughs> Marisa Grieco. Da? Da. Da, that's... You're Italian. The Mystical Guide. She's the Mystical Guide. Thank you. You got to check it out. The Sacral Chakra. And it's just below your belly button. Hopefully... Ladies, it's nowhere close to your landing strip. And if it is, shave that shit down. She's reading my energy. I'm reading it right now. And it, ladies? Yeah? I mean, he's taken, but his energy's pretty good. Pretty good. I can be bought. Jill, you're a very lucky lady. She's a lucky lady, but I can <laughs> still be bought. For 25 cents. More than Two that. Two bits. No, it's more than Two that. Two bits. You can have this guy. Two bits. Sold, oh, lady, for 25 cents. I got him. You have to contact Jill. She gives you the price. <laughs> Two horses and a nice house, and you could have him. <laughs> Two horses. I love that. And a donkey. <laughs> Two horses. Well, she got the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. she did. <laughs> oh, Eeyore, why are you so gloomy? <laughs> She's because of my huge donkey dick. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't feel bad for Eeyore kids. Huge, huge donkey dick. Uh, welcome jail. to a retro <laughs> replay to the basement. I know. There I never are. thought the basement would be this cool. I was expecting a little more creepy, but yeah. this is nice. These chairs may give you crabs. Just want you to know. I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> oh, these chairs just received crabs. <laughs> And now I know how I got them. <laughs> Toilet seats and these seats. That, that the mystical crabs. Mine. The mystical crabs. They're enchanted crabs. Uh, Drew almost had crabs, but they decided Where do you think I leave. got them from? Really? <laughs> you know, guys, you guys work together far too hard. It's often. been we're, we're a, a tight-knit group. <laughs> it's time for one of my favorite parts. It's the topics and tangents of the day. I'm starting off. Um, with a 111-year-old man. Jesus. Attributes his longevity in life to eating, Ray, wait for it, chicken brains. Ew. I didn't know chickens had brains. Let's batten you up, drumstick. I didn't know dogs had knees until my dog needed <laughs> ACL surgery twice. That's a real thing. Yes, Australia's oldest ever man. Dexter Kruger. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, he's old, a day older than World War I veteran Jack Lockett was when he died in 2002. Chicken brains. He's, he's, this is a quote. I love this. Chicken brains. You know, chickens have a head. And in there, there's a brain. No shit, Dexter. <laughs> and they are delicious little things. Uh, there's only one little bite. That's that's what I can't get over. Do you know how many chicken brains you have to eat to get full? I mean, Dexter does. I don't. About 25. But, uh, About oh, really? 25. Uh, that's well you eat like a bird i eat Look like a you. bird you fantastic but can you see him at a restaurant like do you want chicken wings you want a breast he's like no i'm gonna have the brains i'm gonna brains yeah well i mean they, they fry them and does it come like in a little plate like you know how they do the <laughs> lamb brains yeah so like is it sliced in half like in a little like, no in a little like chicken a, hands like okay yeah. it's like sitting there it's like click. pulls it out and it's like you have like, like one, one of those little, little caviar like spoons a, yeah. and, it's like indian and i am so full I on know. these chicken brains <laughs> Jesus. And I, I, I like this. However, Kruger's 74-year-old son 
credits his father's simple outback lifestyle for his long life. So clearly he's 111. He's lost his mind. He's probably, he's like, he's like, hey, chickens. He's just biting the heads off chickens. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, don't waste all the chicken. We've fun. talked about this. My grandfather used to eat pickled pig's feet, which is disgusting. Unless they're in a nice jar. Of course, he's dead. So don't, pork feet. Pork feet, bad. Chicken brain, good. Apparently. All I picture are pork feet, like in a jar with nail polish. Do they have toes? They kind of. And like, like not toes, but would you have like, no? See, that, that would that, see that would be a great prank because you go in there and you you actually take, you know. Well, I take the, the chicken, time. I take the take time. the time. Yeah, this is this. I don't I don't get. It. He ate. I really chickens are like. They they really aren't they known for just you know, just being stupid, right? I mean, it's a chicken. I I can say that, right? You're not gonna. I'm not going to get canceled because chicken canceled. Chicken like God, he's so mean. He's so mean. Oh, all the remember, remember even the Muppet Show and the you remember Gonzo had his chickens and they were all like ah, bah, 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 bah. they're <laughs> stupid running around he could never find them. With you, Gonzo. <laughs> I just picture chickens running around all without their heads and he's just happy like with a full belly. You know what I mean? Like it's like they're just missing their heads, but all the rest are there. I like you. You know what I mean? I dig that. I yeah. get I get you. Yeah. And his family's happy because they're like, all he eats is the brain. We're going to keep this guy. I, uh, for me, I love him because I'm, I'm a big fan of the breasts. And cheap eaters. And chicken breasts. <laughs> um, no, but I, I like, I, 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 like eating a chicken's head never occurred to me. Ever. Like ever? Ever. No. So, um... Do you think he has to take his teeth out to eat the chicken brain at that no, age? No, I would, I, I would expect they're pretty smushy. Is it a little more like a... I bet it's like popcorn like, chicken. You just kind of pop... It popcorn just, brains? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. disgusting. Is he kind of like a... This is why zombies never die. That's true. Brains. That's a terrible joke. Okay, on to my favorite possible ever <laughs> topic and tangent story. <laughs> And I'm going to keep doing this. Okay. Sent in by our replayer, Emma Jane Robinson. Ooh. Emma Jane, this is... So there's a show called Naked Attraction. And it's like blind date. Yeah. But they literally just bring out men or women and they will cover them up like... They, they, and it's like they have... There's like a... They're standing... They are stark naked behind these like, So like what you're saying screens. is they start with the important part. And they... No, they go up low. They start low, yeah. and you see your feet, and they have to look at the feet, and they go, "Oh, what do you think about the?" And and this one, uh, this it was a the female contestant, yeah. And so she had men to choose from, Ooh. and look at their feet, and they slowly go up until they get up, and they're fully revealed. Right. But they do get to the point where it's just at their waist, and they're just looking at their schmeckles. Yeah. Yeah. And um, hair pants. I don't know. Hair pants. I don't know if you're still a virgin or not, but. They of come in different I sizes. Of course I am. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest line ever said on the show. Um, Actually, I thought the schmeckle, my face the, was. The schmeckle, the schmeckle. <laughs> it's okay. Or I swallow. Check. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Check. That's been said. <laughs> yeah, you had PG been, on the show. That's yeah. been said. Yeah. No, um, for those of you who don't know. You were on the show? There's not one, <laughs> one size. Men are varying. And Tracy Kiss was the contestant. Her and name she declared, <laughs> right? She declared she was looking for a well endowed man. She was looking for an Eeyore. She was looking for a donkey dick. And um, she picked this guy out. The guy was guy was like ridiculous, apparently. Just Nice. He was, he was, uh, he, he was, was hanging. He was, he was, strong. you know, he was, there's the kid's meal and then there's the, you know, the quarter pounder, then there's the Whopper. The Whopper! Ooh. Italian! Yeah. So it's the, the there's the Whopper, there's the Italian. Yeah, this guy was like, <laughs> he was like an angry Coke can, flaccid, something. It just, an angry it was just, can. yeah, he was just like, <laughs> well, I picture what, sauce. What's it angry? Uh, I mean, like Mark, balls. Mark is no, she said, uh, she goes, he put me in the hospital a few times with it, but I'm okay. You know what's funny? She I didn't interrupt you, but I do go. picture her laying down and just his balls, like in her eyes. You know what I mean? So as opposed to the old-fashioned way of getting <laughs> old it, fashion? it's like I don't know, like because like, she's like hospitalized, I like don't... or maybe she was standing there and it just like knocked her over. I'm sorry. How... <laughs> like I'm trying to picture how she's like. <laughs> What, how? You got a <laughs> whiteboard drawing of that? It, yeah, or because like... I'm trying to figure like if his balls are in her eyes, he's. 
He's doing something. He's facing this way. Or it's like. She... What? But that. Oh, yes. So it's this big hook that he's like balls in her face. You can kiss those if you want. I'm just going to snake this down. Hey, Jerry, can you grab that end and just kind of put help. in that. He's got friends. Just put in that on. You're, you guys are going to have to push because I got I to gotta make dinner over here. And he's just. Or she's across the room and it just knocks her over. Something. Like, something. Oh, my God. I mean, this is a dick so big, apparently it has a knee. <laughs> um, yeah, so she said, but she the, she's. She's a she's fun. I'm just gonna say that, and and, and so she seems fun because listen to some of the stuff. Uh, so she's, yeah, she said that uh, she's she's had children and it changes down there. I don't know what that means. Well, My kids wife, are hanging off of it. it well, it, not not during the act. <laughs> oh, they're gotcha. usually in the other room <laughs> or they're sitting there quietly with their mouths taped, crying. Right. But. Yes, she said, he put me in the hospital a few times with it, but I'm okay. It's not the first time she's been in the news, however, though. Most recently, she's revealed that uh, to combat coronavirus, uh, she drinks sperm smoothies. Wow, ladies. But you know what? She's got an Instagram page, so if you missed out on that recipe, she's going to show you how to do it. This, this, it's not much of a recipe. It's just that? It means your, your her guy just was like, mish, 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 mish into a cup. Well, um, protein. She's not had a cold or flu for three years because of her concoction, wow. which is made using donations from her boyfriend, and she takes three shots a week. I found a free and vegan alternative, a, a free, I found a free and vegan friendly alternative method to boost the body's immune system. You don't know what's in pharmaceutical medicine, so it's much better for the body to drink something that doesn't contain chemicals. He probably, he's probably contains some chemicals. I'm just like to it isn't that. much different from a mother breastfeeding. Oh, no. It isn't for everyone, but it's packed full of vitamins, and I haven't had a cold or flu ever since drinking it in 2017. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I also put it on my face to clear up my skin. <laughs> no one tell him your secret. <laughs> yeah. I put 65. it on my face to clear up my skin. He's 65. Look at him. Yeah, but it's my own. <laughs> exactly. It works. It's usually just. That's. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. But you know what's um, bad, though? And then you just... It, right. It's like the glue when you're a kid in school. And, mm. Or at, when you get out of the shower and you think you've got it all, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you really? missed a spot. Yeah, you mean the rubber cement. Yeah. It's awful. Seriously. You're I, like, I've, oh. I've tiled an entire shower with this stuff. <laughs> um, the it's point really is... stuck to the hair. You know what's... So that's where it really... Well, that's how you Italians <laughs> get it off your hair. We're like, that's how we keep our arms so clean. That's right. That, that's the... That's the that's, <laughs> In the old country, it's a secret. Giuseppe would jeez <laughs> more of me arms, and it came out, and it's good. Now you know why your grandmother had patches. Oh, my grandmother! <laughs> my grandmother didn't have any hair. Obviously, she had a good time in the shower. She had a good time at the bar. <laughs> She's like, "Give it to me, boy." <laughs> she had the smoothest skin in town. <laughs> She was 104, but she looked like she was 25. Yeah. It's okay. From the, from the neck up. Right. And then the everything rest of her was a raisin. Like, everything else is... <laughs> That's why your grandfather was so upset. Yeah, he was. <laughs> but he had they great aim. Um, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable with this... this it, it's like... It, it, it's it's kind of like every guy's dream for like a weekend. And then it'd be like, you really like this. She's More! Like, <laughs> Honey, my More shake, grabbing I need it. some for my shake. He's my like, shake, I need it for my neck. It's like, oh my God. She's like, you know, can you, can you get some right there? I'm like, God damn, yeah. There's a lineup outside her house. She's, she's I just, like, honey, she's just got a window open. She's like, stand here, I, they're milking them like the neighbor cow. Oh my God, what, yeah, but, I, I just, I just, Keep on, keep on, keep Tracy on Kiss. <laughs> what, what, it, it, oh my God. It's just, it's crazy. And I wonder if, if she said she went on to date the guy for a year. Oh, once she was done with the Oh, no, supply. no. And maybe, and here's the thing. So, uh, you know, this guy with the balls across the nose and this kind of stuff, he's... Did he wear high he's socks? A, he's out of the picture. I don't know. Is that a thing? I, I, I assume it. Or doesn't it get cold when it's so big? And the other thing is... Maybe I mean, he wears three socks. You know what they don't mention? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Just two but ankles in the pass, tube. Does he pass out afterwards? Do you ever hear, like, guys... I hear they pass out... Um, that's what I do. Like, I try to get him excited. You pass out before. Get him excited, pass out, and then just Passes be like, I don't feel you, a thing. And you go have breakfast. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you go downstairs. I'm just kidding. We know. I'm just joking. Just we joking. think we know. <laughs> it was wow. a time. Um, so, yeah. So and, and so Mark isn't the guy making the smooth. Boy, that's a whole nother, like. But we never found out that, how like, big it like, was. Imagine like a food truck with that kind of thing. Billy, oh. come to the side of the van and show them what you've got. It's like, it's, this, this ain't custard, Billy. <laughs> it's a protein <laughs> shake for the whole neighborhood. Like, your skin looks great, though. Okay, time to play a game. Halo. Yeah! Let's talk about Halo. You, uh, no, here's the crazy thing. I've worked on Halo, a bunch of different ones. I've, n well, actually, I think I played one time but I don't know anything about it. You're a Halo player, right? I love Halo 1 though. Like Halo 1, I was just like, I loved it. I actually went into a meeting with Halo before they put a Halo 2 out and it was supposed to be for a scene that they were gonna start doing a TV show. Yeah. And the whole time I was in there, I'm like, so with Halo 2, all the people really want, oh, I was talking about myself, are new maps. Just keep the guns the same. Don't change anything. Just give us new places. To give us new places to go. New environments they put. And then they oh, kicked me out of the office and I was probably because they didn't do that. How do we, uh, how do I get this going, Drew? All right, we need help. Please reconnect your control. You know what, I think it's this button. The do this button. one. <sighs> Ladies, we're always trying to show guys where our buttons are. Just kidding. I <laughs> still am not convinced the big you have X. buttons. The I think big it's X. a scam, guys. <laughs> I think it's a scam. And deep down, do we give a shit? <laughs> no. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> what do, uh, Look what at do, our skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need us for your skin care. Is that a hair gel? Yeah. Great. It, I just ran out. I'm so excited. Jeez. I haven't played Halo in so long. Hold on. Let me see. It's one of these. Oh my God, Nolan! You're killing me already. I'm still playing with my gun. Yeah. That's what they say. All right. I gotta come back. It's been so long. I'm still reminiscing. God, you're like, you're like that guy in the video, just spewing all over me. <laughs> come on, Marisa. How do I change the gun? How come I can't get my fucking pistol? Oh, is this like a cheap version? <laughs> I'm turning a flashlight on. Where's my pistol? Got my light on here. I'm like, here I am. I'm so embarrassed right now. God damn it. How come I can't get that other gun? This is so fun. You guys get paid for this? I did a fucking wrong job. I can do this for hours. I know. We should. <gasps> oh, I have I to kill. I have to kill. I have to kill, and I'm running as fast as I can. Sorry, ladies. I am in embarrassment right now. I gotta pull it together. I'm so. I'm so. Oh shit. I'm so I, I wanting jump. to change my gun, and I was obsessed with it. That. Where are you? What is that? Oh, that's a med kit. That's real nice. God damn it. I really want my pistol. It's killing me. <gasps> it's okay. It's just a game. You can kill him with whatever you got. I got a flashlight on. I'm like the... I'm already thinking of my rematch. Be in the moment. I'm just upset. I really want a different gun. We all have our favorite guns. This is not my favorite gun. God damn it, Lisa. Oh, shot me. Oh, I'm gonna clean you up now. I'm so wow, upset. Wow! Why were you... How? Sorry. How the hell did you... Uh, uh, where are you? Meh, 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 meh. Tea bag in the face. Now you know what that girl felt like. Being hospitalized. I'm f terrified right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that shit. F your mystical guide. I am here 24 <laughs> 7. I mean, namaste. I mean, namaste. Are you shitting me? It's your namaste. Get your energy power on. That's what I love about healing work. You know, you just gotta upgrade your avatar. Where are you? I 
much. Where love. are you? Oh my God, I just want to kill you so bad right now. I just want to redeem myself. Where are you hiding? You're like a little girl. No, I feel like I'm driving around in my white van trying not, to entice you with candy. Girl. Come out so I can- Don't call me a little girl, I'm not a little girl. Where are you? Are you hiding? Oh, invisible. Oh my god, Marisa. That was a little bit. I'm invisible and you still killed me! This gun's not reloading properly. Oh, you got all my shit. That ain't cool. It's okay. God damn. I'm just like your last wife. I took it all! God damn it. You make one joke about your wife and you yep, kill me. Yep. See, you don't talk shit. You don't talk shit and take the stuff back. <laughs> this is my stuff! You can't have my stuff! Whoa, no touchy! No touchy! No touch! I should have signed a prenup! Oh my god, come on! This is so fun though, I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. I don't have kids around me. Playing Halo? All I need is a joint and a beer in my hand. I have a beer. And I, you know what though? This is one of those. This is bad because this is one of those games where I'm like, I'm gonna get super quiet because I'm trying to cut the tumor. I don't have any freaking grenades. Where are they all? I forgot where are they? I cannot find you. I love video game shows. Ah, you know of any? No. I really want my pistol. I really don't like this gun. I need a medical pack. This gun is stupid. You know what? I'm gonna pitch it up. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm being all. Oh. Oh. Oh, all right, it's all coming back now. Oh, shit. You have to read 20 times. They're like, you don't have grenades. All right, I can hear people. Yes, the metal. <gasps> oh! He's coming. I can sell him. I got that smell up. <laughs> I can smell up! <laughs> I don't know where I am. I can't see me. Oh my god! I feel like that old person. I'm like, I wish you played me in my yeah, day I, when I knew what I was doing. Corner, uh, yeah, uh, uh, now you're teabagging uh, uh, me. Teabagging yeah, me. Yeah, I teabag. Teabag! Oh, the teabag! He's very, very surreal. Oh, come off me, you f fuck. You're like a 14 year old boy on Drew, how do, Drew, how do I reload? <laughs> You know what? Just keep firing. Been a hot minute. Um, Game over. Try. Game over. It's okay, because I want to just play again. I want to do another map. I want to redeem myself. Okay. 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 I'm. Uh, by the way, I'm into this. This is weird, because now I'm. The only problem with this is I get into this, I and I sh I can't talk. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Drew, I need to hear you. Do you? So take the clock out of your mouth and stop messing around <laughs> with that ass contestant. My God. R R R R R. My God. R. Okay. Billy's back, and he's got big socks on, and he's ready to play. How do we? <laughs> how do? We, let's go. Oh, that's how you All right. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. Do you? Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it sounds like your wedding night. <laughs> it does. It doesn't. That doesn't affect me. I know. It wasn't you. It was affecting. <laughs> These women and your buttons. <laughs> He's got the wrong button! Tell me, or I'll- No, not the buttons! Not my gumdrop buttons! All right, then. What just happened? What is- Oh, are you kidding me? I just What's fucking blew away the invisibility. What a dicky move. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. I'm so happy right now, seriously. I feel like I just went back 15 years. <laughs> oh. oh, you 
both died. That's because I threw a grenade last minute. Oh. It was like a suicide thing. I was like, no. Yeah. Oh, I want you to wait. die alone. Dang. Together forever. Come on, Team Blue. Let's go. I didn't mean to. Oh, God dang it. I was watching the top thing, and that's you. I feel like, damn, I'm doing really good. Die already? What do you have? I was like 10 headshots. That is so unfair. And I even threw a grenade at you. Yeah, and I and now I have. Did you have protection? Were you wearing a rubber the size of a. <laughs> uh, size of Ohio? Yes, I was. <gasps> You were like protected. Whoa, what happened? Mm, it was a little grenade. What? I'm finally redeeming myself. What the hell did you do? How'd you do that? She's finally waking up from the child coma. What do, you, what do you... That's what happens when you have kids. It's like you forget about your other life. I'm like, I used to know how to handle a gun in Halo. What happened to me? Wow. How you... Shit, she's pretty good at this. Yeah. Well, no, it's just I'm waking up. Waking up after a long winter's nap. Yeah. Mama's coming out of the cave. How did you get this game, babe? Because I know what me and the kids are doing tonight. <laughs> oh my god. This, uh, yeah, I know. I'm like, come no. on. D no, so uh, did you play Halo a lot like, at some point? Like, me? Was it, yeah, was this your game? Yeah, we used to play with Nathan Fillion, Alan Tudyk, uh, Patrick Van Horn, PJ, and we would play every single Sunday for like two years. Oh, well, this, this it was our dedicated. And then PJ was so cute. He'd be the one. He's like, look, guys, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> Everybody, or at least I have to go to work tomorrow. So maybe we should wrap this up. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> so that's what was crazy. Because then when I was playing, I don't know what it was, Halo 3 or 4. And um, Nathan's voice all of a sudden was in the game. I'm like, that's so weird hearing his voice now in the game. But yeah, Shit. it was really crazy. So you guys were Plank. serious. And it was funny because uh, Alan actually wasn't an original player. They had um, two other guys that was on Nathan's team. Josh Dean was on the team for a bit and another guy, but he was terrible. So I'm not even gonna mention his name, but he got kicked off. But Alan was so cute because when he first came in, oh, come in. Killing spree. Uh, when he first Killing came spree. in and started playing with us, you know, he wasn't, he was in the game. Waiting me out. But he was so good, he was so fun. But actually, Skylar started playing your game and that was really cool. I liked it because it felt like I was watching a movie and we were in control of a movie. So that made it really cool. I'm just gonna come over and teabag you, just, <sighs> just because the audience may like that. Let me look down while I do it. Let me can see it. It's an individual. Do you know what a teabag is? You gotta actually crouch. Yes, I know what a teabag is. You gotta hit that L3 button. L3? Where the f is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna collect medical packs because I just keep dying. Here, this one. This one. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around with my medical purse just in case. I want that gun. I just threw a grenade shit. They're like, I just killed myself. This map's probably a little too big. I forgot how big this map is. Just for two people, because then you spend more time. Like, I just like to kill. This one, you're kind of, it's like going on for long walks. You know, sometimes you just want to go out there and kill somebody. I don't like this gun. I just really want to change it. I want to turn this flashlight off. I'm really like, Okay, let's just calm down. I'm going to find my inner zen. I'm connecting to my aura. And now I can touch. And you just did. <laughs> Shit! And that, folks, is what energy work is all about. You want to ground. Release all the frustration you get from the game and then go out there. What is... Okay, but... Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I want to know about the energy work stuff. Oh, it's super fun. I need a break. Yeah.
about energy readings. Like seriously now. So I know I know like what do you do? Like how does it how does it work? Um I tap into your energy field. So ah uh, uh, how did you, you feel it, that? You, you tap feel into the energy field. Yeah, and people do it all the time. But I just try to, I like to gamify it. So just like we're playing Halo right now, I like to treat your physical body like your avatar, right? And all your okay. problems or all those pains in your body are just like those, almost like heavy, dense energy all around you. Okay. So I kind of like to have fun. It's just like, well, let's get rid of this. Go past thinking this is because of my father, this is because of my mom. Like, let's just get rid of it and bring more energy in and more light because we do it all the time. Like think of when you're about to perform on stage, not in bedroom. <laughs> I never perform in the bedroom. <laughs> if it is, it's a- it's, There, I'm a natural. It is, it is a comedy. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm with you. So basically then what I see is when I look into your field, we use your third eye, right? Your third eye and you tap into somebody's energy field and then I can see where you're dense, where you, you're holding all those problems. And then I just help to release it. Really? So that's what I do for work, like right. when I work with a client. But then on my show, I try to teach you how to do it for yourself. But we do it in a fun way, you know what I mean? Because nobody, I mean, I love talking about dimensions and I love talking about the energy fields, but sometimes that can get really technical, you know what I mean? Yeah, and people yeah. are like, what the fuck? dimensions but I try to simplify it so it's fun you know what I mean it's like well what are your chakras and they're like this like I like again games like portals think of them as just different doorways to get into different and then you said you want to treat me the way you treat my avatar you're gonna just keep shooting it full of can shoot at your head until you're just you gonna die and then nine, gonna, nine to three and then I'm gonna teabag you <laughs> and that's what so, I do hey, with my hey mystical clients. guide that's what I do with my clients I release their chakras and I teabag them. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. But you feel so much better at the end. Just I, really. <laughs> oh, you're sitting there. And your skin glowing. Is, skin is glowing. Skin one more time. One more round. I want. Yes, I want. I'm so happy. Pick. Pick a. Uh, pick, you gotta pick the map. Okay, let's oh. pick a smaller map. That's all. Which you? You tell me which one. Uh, derelict. Let's just do that. All right. Where are you? Why aren't they showing me? I don't know. It's creepy. Cause I don't know where you are right now. I am. I am. Who are you? Oh, I forgot about the green doors. You know what's great about playing a game that you haven't played for so long? You're just, it's like the reminiscing of it. You know what I mean? You're just like, oh yeah. I am and I don't know where you are. Why am I shooting so terrible? Oh, and I... Nice. That was a really nice move for somebody that doesn't play. Nice move? I... No, that was really good what you just did there. I just died. But you did it gracefully. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't patronize me. I'm trying my best. Let's, I'm going to teabag my own corpse. It does feel good. It's almost like you get a release, like you did this morning. But I didn't, I don't know what you're talking about. No wonder you're so upset. I, well, I'm upset, not because of that, I'm upset. Damn it, that was terrible. Oh, look at you. And I'm still dead. No, but that was really good play. What? That was really nice. It's not good play, I'm dead. You didn't. I shot you in the face a hundred times, and you. But my skin looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I shot you in the face a hundred times. That's why I said. You're shooting like rockets and shit at me. Oh my god! I really want to change this gun. I have to say, one of my proudest moments as a mom was when I was playing Skylar, and. Uh, and uh, she just kicked my ass. And I, it was one of those God, moments as a parent where you're like, wow. Super impressed? Yeah, I was like impressed. Like, you just kicked my ass. Because, you know, they're little and it's so easy to beat them up. And then they get older and they're a little <laughs> more of a challenge. I know. <laughs> Mine scare me now. He's too big. Yeah, yours are huge. Oh, you got your eye on me. 
really nice. That was really good. You know why? Because you threw a grenade and then you followed up with the shot. That was like really Like that? Beautiful. Yeah, I've been watching you kill me a hundred times and I figured, well, maybe I should try to figure some of this shit out. No, you're doing great. No patronizing. No, for real. Doing really good. I'm a little disappointed with my... Ah! Dang it! Come on! Step up your game, Nolan! <laughs> oh, bitch slap you right now! I remember talking to Nathan about this. Like, he... Nathan oh. like, used to... He used to, like, audition people to be on his team, on his squad. Yes! Well, they were really good. I have a picture. Maybe we can find it when I was pregnant. Because I used to play when I was pregnant with Skylar. And I'd be like, I'm pregnant and I'm killing people, but I'm going to try to be as zen as possible. Because I didn't want all the adrenaline, you know, to go into the just, baby. And, and then I was, like, going to have a baby coming out like, Bitch, give me some milk! Like, I wanted to, so I'd play and I'd be like... Bitch, give me some milk. <laughs> yeah. Would you have like the ec well, exorcist is, kid? It's weird. She you ended Bitch, up give me some milk. that anyway. Well, it was, yeah. <laughs> well, because I was playing video games, so I'm like, you know, is you know, my adrenaline is racing, right? God damn it. Um, so I didn't know what that was doing to my system, but I didn't want to stop playing at the same time. Work so hard. What? Reload on. And then Corey, Corey was on Ethan's team, is an excellent sniper. And you know who Corey's married to? Sam Smith from Supernaturals. She used to play with us too. Sam Smith from Supernaturals used really? to play with us. She was really good too. But then I think, um, I don't know why she stopped playing. Maybe she was working. But it was really, really fun because you can see how you'd have a barbecue, hang out, and then play this all day. And you just don't want to stop. But it did cause a lot of fights. Well, that's a good reason to... No, no. Not cause a lot of fights again. You can see how it gets your adrenaline going. You know what I mean? 100%. PJ would get so upset because me and Patty were on his team and he would train us and be like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to play. This to became go over. like a super serious. What? Became a super serious thing. Oh, if you're playing with teams, it's so fun. Um, but we'd never listen. See these little balls that are out everywhere? Just like a prostitute on Hollywood Boulevard. She can't keep her hands off them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you said that out loud. Well, it's just like you said. In a room with air. <laughs> <laughs> room with air. Well, it's kind of funny being on the show and having all these guys in front of me because the last time I had this many guys. All right, in front careful. Of me. <laughs> careful. I, I don't gonna... know how, I don't know what to do with information like that. <laughs> oh my god. I was going to say it was an, there might have been a poll involved. <laughs> I'm just oh kidding. Oh my god. I I'm I just want kidding. Pictures. I want pictures. <laughs> it was a stainless steel poll. You would really <laughs> One of my favorite kinds. <laughs> What's with all the Vaseline? Uh, that's no way. That doesn't work. Olive it's for oil. the chap lips. Go olive oil for the chap lips. <laughs> just kidding. Well, you actually, you want to... Never mind. That's just inappropriate. You think? Not really. If I did. This is how she wins. She gets into your head. It's, it's just a head game now. You know? She's talking about Vaseline and... On Hollywood, you're distracted. You're not in the game. God damn it! I'm not good at Halo. Oh, you are. You just need practice. You are. You just need practice. <laughs> God, I suck. I suck so bad. That's what she said. <laughs> she never said. She but said. not out loud. She didn't say it out loud because she had. One you're invisible. This had... invisible shit's got to stop. She had one of those muscles on. Can you imagine? What's with the leash, honey? I'm gonna take you for a walk. That's just not I don't know, it's the best feeling. Again, again, that blue dies. <laughs> that, that blue dies? It's, 
Yeah. It's so debilitating. Playing Halo, uh, I remember playing Halo a lot, and it, it's super weird where you're like, I'm shooting the same amount of bullets as you. Oh yeah, that's yet the worst. You always win, and you know, it's like, it, it always was like a <sighs> frustrating. Uh, so when you're frustrating. playing someone who's just, just a little better than you. Oh, he's talking to, he's talking to the audience, and now he's talking to me. Now he's talking to me too. I really like how he does that. He's, he's kind of, it's like calming. Killing spree. This game is not as much fun when you're always dying. Look at this. Yeah, it's nice. It's like I'm part of, I'm one with the universe. I'm one with the universe. My light is your light. My, oh fuck. I shot you so God. many times. Oh. You, you barely Damn ever your die. Bud. You don't die. You don't die, man. She doesn't die, man. Game over, man. Game over, man. Game over. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? This earbud won't stay in my ear. I, I, I think there's actually, I thought I read God. something uh, where th there's actually a bunch of lines in this game that are ripped right from aliens. Oh. Uh, really? Yeah. He's like a walking in encyclopedia, this guy. I played this game for years and I didn't know any of that. Mind you, I, where are you? God. Oh! It is such an awful feeling. <laughs> I gotta find my zen again. I'm gonna connect to my aura. <laughs> I am gonna ground this crazy energy. This is so fun. I really don't want to, this moment to end. I got kids at home, guys. Can we just order pizza? Can this show, like, I don't even care. Let's go live. Oh, there you are, you little twat. I don't even have any more grenades. Let's see, I'm just gonna run a rampage. Punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all out of my system! I just went invisible. Game over. Game over. <laughs> you know what? Cheers. <sighs> cheers. Cheers, cheers. That was nice. I mean, we have to relax our face. You can't beat a mystical guide. She's feeling the energy. Here, this the sapping, she's sucking my energy. She's 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 a succubus. His energy. She's, take, she's tapped my energy. I got to recharge. I need a rest, glass of milk. I don't know what I've done with this. Jesus. <laughs> hey, so now it's time for our photos on the bar this week. Marisa, uh, you probably already know, feel their energy behind this. Uh, Hockey Town 787, that's Andrew L. Rocking the uh, retro replay red. Uh, Melanie Steiner, Marty Deegs, longtime replayer, the lovely and talented Melanie Steiner. And of course, uh, PJ's uh, <laughs> doppelganger, uh, you know, just, just chilling there, doing the Uncle Noli, Matthew Snyder. Sending it back at you. Uh, and uh, for our um, member shout outs, uh, Altered Beast! The Altered Beast, our top level, Chris. Gruchella. We love Chris. Chris in VR. Uh, Brandy Brown and Michael McLean. 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 It's like it's like a it's like a healthy burger from McDonald's. I like a McLean. He's the Michael McLean. <laughs> McLean. Can I get a McLean? They're like, no. With Everything the here is terrible for you. I prefer the chicken brain, thank you. The chicken brain nuggets. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> By the way, chickens have no nuggets. I just want to let everybody know that. Oh, wow. It's and if you like chicken nuggets, that's not real chicken. It's like a spider web of, <laughs> of horror inside that fried It's crust. sawdust. Yeah, don't so, eat it. Oh, just don't delicious. eat it. Don't Unless eat you it. have barbecue sauce. And then... Join me for our shout out. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ah! Woo! Well done. Thank you. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go recharge my energy. Uh, I'm gonna open a couple chakras. Boom, 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 boom And uh, probably get teabagged again. I'm gonna teabag him. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it with our energy. <laughs> I'm gonna open up his aura, uh -oh. and I'm gonna let his demons out. Now we're mm -hmm. gonna clean all that up, but we're gonna have a fun time doing it. That means I'm gonna have diarrhea. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe with a wet wipe, which cleans it all up. And, and I'm then, gonna have good skin. Then I'm gonna skin. feel better. <laughs> Uh, this has been a disgusting, fabulous episode. Horrible. Um, enjoy your body fluids, everybody. I know I do. <laughs>
Take and your care. protein shakes. Your protein shakes. Oh, God. <laughs> Not that kind of protein. Forget the protein shakes. Stay with almond milk. <laughs> Please. It's the only kind of nut you that should be in your the, milkshake. The little milking of the almonds. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's a meme. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, guys. I no longer like the foam in my Guinness. Now you know what it feels like. It's not that salty. Okay. <laughs> not yet. But I do feel invigorated. Mm. It's true. No. The funny thing is I call my Guinness my mother's milk and now I'm like <laughs> It is kind of sweet.